one is just a quick one. I'm not going to make it long. I will try and make it short and brief. My people, sob though. Hope you guys are doing good out there. Yeah, well, it's still your boy B.Y. And the Mikani Mokwan Namse, Ogwa Akro Dike, Unobo Damo Ya. Ogwa Akro Dike, Unobo Damo Ya. And the parents okay, we can hear from my mother. I see from brothers are kicking belly. Yeah, what that na? I'm in the ambiance. I'm going to get my own car for. Um, today I just want to talk briefly based on what Father Mbaka said. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to be with you. And why the people are protesting? Where <laughs> 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 E mengari we ubua maka meche meche re bere na adoration ya bu meche bunke bishop na chi enuguda si sese na ma beze bere anya bu ngari wa unu na ahu ubua wanyi wanyi ye wanyi gba kana ye ji na me ha kita kugodi as in adoration adoration <laughs>
Now, quick one. I don't see the reason why a Reverend Father should be involved in politics. A Reverend Father coming into bringing himself into politics. He did it when Jonathan and Buari. Hmm? You people know I don't want to be going too much. Now, we saludo. Saludo. Mr. Ezebe, you work at Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria. I put a one on each other. You had a good boogie. And then you go to the wagon. I got a. Because I know you are up to so many things that I don't know exactly all now, you know. But I will advise people that are following you because listen, the Bible says Psalm 105, 15. Psalm 105, verse 15, yeah. And First Chronicles 16, 22. I understand the Bible there. It says, Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. I am not here to touch, neither am I here to harm. None of the above. Please, with all respect, Father Ejike Mbaka, listen to me carefully. And my people, listen to me. And those of you out there protesting against the ban of adoration ministry, the bishop did the right thing. Yeah, and Nama, maybe you people are hypnotized by Father Ejike Mbaka. Maybe. Uh, if you guys are hypnotized, then that's another case. We should, because, listen, you cannot come out as a reverend father, you indulge, you bring yourself into politics. We are now battling to see how we are going to get someone. It's not about prejudice now. A better person that will take Nigerian out of debt, borrowing money. A lot of things are happening, bad things are happening to our country. Somebody that can think properly and get us out of dungeon. And you are there talking about being stingy. Or haven't you heard of stingy uh, 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 men association? I am a stingy man too. If you are not stingy, you cannot make it. If you are not a stingy... Okay, Fadam Baka, you would ask talking here yeah, about people being stingy. Let us go straight to the point now. Look at your congregation. Look at the kind of faces I'm seeing here on the video. Asking the bishop, a whole bishop, to step down, or the bishop who I don't know, I, I don't know what came over all, all these women, you know, women. Look at them properly. Do you see sign of people going to church? You know, listen to me. Sometimes when I look at people preaching here and there, when I look at you properly, look at your shoe, look at your face and all that, I think, oh, I am wearing better shoes than looking clean more than you. I begin to don't get me wrong please don't get me wrong I begin to question myself I like begin to ask myself question where are these God is that it's worshiping is she not looking after him or her so why do you look tattered and you're worshiping God look at these women here do they look like Father Baka is looking after them do you know that this man runs in millions this adoration thing I, I can't remember, probably almost more than 25 years now, probably, yeah, and you are there shouting, bring, you are talking, insulting and bringing down the bishop, 
Listen, Father Mbaka, I don't know whether you people don't understand that Mbaka is not a bishop. Mbaka is just a reverend father. And because he is in, he's bringing himself into politics and fake prophecy does not give him the power. He's still under the bishop. Okay. I don't want to go far. You know, listen, I don't want to go too far because... I just want to make this quick and simple. Now, I don't understand why my people, they said lack of Amami wisdom, my people perish. You are going to one adoration ministry, one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, you're not progressing. No good life. And the man in question that is calling another see pot calling kettle black, calling another man stingy, cannot even bring a boast of 50 or 100 million to the congregation, share it to the poor. We've never, I've never had it before happen from Father Mbaka. So why are you calling another man stingy? Hmm? Stingy for what? Because you want him to come and be bribing you. Like those ones that are bribing you behind, clothes, behind, behind, behind our backs, and they will come through the back in the night with intolerance. Yeah, Father Mbaka, yeah, to, 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 to the public. Yeah, this is the money, and you will come out at the nature of ministry. You come yelling your, you know, for me to mind the nonsense that is coming out from your mouth, brother. Yeah? Yeah, well, it's not an insult, I'm not insulting you, but when you talk things that are unreasonable, well, they are nonsense to me. It doesn't make sense. Anything that doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. So it's nonsense. It's simple English. Uh, I am, uh, my first language is not English, but this is the way I say it. So it's not an insult to me. When you talk something that doesn't make sense to me, I look at it like this doesn't make sense, it's nonsense. So, and this is what I see. So, you old women out there, I would advise you people to take a chill pill. Go and sit down, relax. Probably God is trying to bring you people out of dungeon, but you don't know. Probably you have been hypnotized by it. You can but now listen to me. Because he's a reverend father, I've been saying this. Many are called, few are chosen. I was once a seminarian, so I know some secrets. Yeah, because I was there for some time. So I know, I am not going to stay here, I'm not going to sit here telling you the secrets, but I know why I'm telling you people, listen, we all are human beings, yeah? Good. So don't think. Don't think that, <laughs> you know what, I don't want to say what I want, what, what I want to say now, I don't want to say something that will, you know what, let's leave it like that, let's leave it like that, I don't want to go too far, please, please, my people, Father Mbaka, educate Mbaka, calm yourself down, yeah? Remove your mind from politics. You're just a reverend father. And mind your business. Go back to bishop and ask for forgiveness. And see if the bishop will be able to release. Or better stay, bishop. Onaga. Valentine Onaga. The archbishop of Enugu. If you can relocate Father Mbaka, let him go. You know, maybe take him like to the US. Or maybe Egypt or somewhere. Put him somewhere. Let him go there and be, you know, go and chill himself down. Yeah, let him go and chill himself down. You cannot sit, you know, in Nigeria for all, you know, making all this talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not good for the pub, for the public. Yeah, it's biasing people's mind. Mm, to me, that's how I feel. Mbaka, educate Mbaka, is biasing people's mind. Yeah, now they don't know we are now. The people that are protesting now, are they protesting that they are with P2B? Or are they protesting that they are with Mbaka? Now we are biased. And this is the problem. And this is that thing Mbaka. The problem Mbaka is causing in our own side, which is 
where we are coming from. Why? Listen, I am not trying to, like I said, I just want to make it short and simple, short and simple. Mbaka, educate, become. And most of you are there. Listen, I don't know whether you people really understand the Bible. Yeah? Because if you do, if you do understand the Bible, you will progress, you will prosper. Most of you roaming around patrolling in the church, in and out of the church. And you are still poor. It never said that if you sit down and say to my God, why am I really going to this church? I'm not making it. And you're still begging people for money. You go to church all the time, you make noise at church and shout and all that. When we land at the airport, you queue and you're begging for money. Excuse you. What's that? What's that for? It doesn't make sense to me. So you guys should re have a rethink. Have a rethink. Listen, the Bible says that your body is the first temple of God. And stop shouting and making noise. Bishop this, Bishop Onaga, step down, go out, blah, blah, blah. No, Onaga is doing his job as a bishop. Because he's not going to sit down there fold his arms, watch Mbaka destroy the land. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not. Like, listen, Onaga. Listen, Mbaka has done this one first time, second time, third time. For, maybe, you know, a little bit of push will calm him down. Yeah, that's how I feel. That's what I think. So, stop. You old women, I mean, you wouldn't talk, you don't, you, listen, what, the people I saw on the video right now, you've not seen anything, you've not traveled, you've not seen nothing, you, you've been, you know, hypnotized, there in any room, you, with your holy water, in and out, in and out, in and out, for decades now, <laughs> no movement. You understand that? And the ones that will die will die. If you live there, you're gonna have accident. You have accident. You cannot change the destiny. Baka can never ever change the destiny. You, you, you watch. You watch. The people that give fake prophets, how can they change your destiny? So. I suggest you people should calm down. Calm down because you never know. P probably this is the time. Psalm 102 verse 13 says, The time to favor Israel has come and the set time is now. You don't know maybe this is the way God wants to deliver you people from dungeon. Because you're... you're no, you never know. You don't look at people like they are the angel, you know, or the saint. Use your wisdom. <laughs> Use your wisdom. That's all I can say. Use your wisdom. Well, my people, this is your boy BY. I'm gonna stop it right here for now because I like I promise I don't wanna make it too I have so many on my mind and I have so so many things to uh, talk about, but it's not everything you know you say. Sometimes we keep some, yeah. So I'm out.